Welcome to this video tutorial where I will show you how you add observations by using a checklist. You start off with going to observations and in under input you go to add observations by checklist. There is also the possibility to add species by species but that's another tutorial. So we click on this one and we come to this view. Here you can actually do it in a fast track view which looks like this or a more detailed view that I'll go through in a minute. So we start with a fast track and we start with the area where we've been for example Arizona uh, and uh, maybe you have a list of a specific county so maybe you have been to um, Maricopa County in Arizona and it's always good to put it as low area as possible to keep the list on then we choose the different taxa group for example mammals birds and so on in this example we'll use birds and you generate the list. The system will now compile all your previous observations also that you have in Maricopa and they will show up like this for example. You have seen the common baganser in Maricopa County before and today we may have seen black-bellied whistling duck for example so you tick this one. Uh, and you don't need to save anything it's saved online so this is it nothing else. It's now on all your lists for Maricopa County, for Arizona, for United States and your life list. Uh, then you can go to a more detailed view and then you can fill in more details if you want. So for example let's say that we have been then to Maricopa County. We have maybe been to Desert Botanical Garden and you can have the choice of different locations already in the system if you don't want to create a new one. So you can choose any of these by clicking on this white marker here. Then we click today and maybe we're there from 5 in the morning to 7 in the morning and uh, here you can choose if you want to show the checklist and previous observations uh, from all years or from any specific year to keep track on, on year ticks. You have an information button here that will help you. In this case we'll do it for all years. So we make sure that we have birds here and we can also choose if we want to show vagrants or if we don't want to show introduced species. Maybe in this case we'll show the subspecies because that could be of interest and you then generate the list. And again it fetches all your previous observations from Maricopa County during all the years. And here you can see the black-bellied whistling duck uh, showing up and if I click on this symbol I will see all the previous observations. So this is the one I entered before which has no location, no quantity, no date. In this case I choose to actually delete this one. Uh, so now I want to add the observations from this morning excursion and then I click for example full with whistling duck. Uh, I can uh, use this once if you only heard the species or if I don't want to count this observation maybe it was not uh, perfectly sure or it was an escaped bird or something like that. You type the quantity, uh, maybe it was uh, for adults and maybe it was uh, male birds and maybe they were migrating east and you see the date and the timing here, the location and then you click save here and it turns green. You can also here uh, for example add a photo by clicking on this icon and you then choose the file and upload it. So uh, then you just continue working through uh, your um, observations here and you can also add uh, multiple sightings. Maybe there were four adults and there were two juveniles and so forth or you can take these away. This orange symbol is quite interesting also and will give you some guidance in terms of ranges for the species uh, which could be quite useful when it comes to subspecies which are shown like this. There is no need to enter both species level and subspecies level. Just go for the lowest level and enter the, the uh, observations details. And if you don't uh, uh, add anything here, it will start off with showing green. So there is no need to save anything extra. It's just if you add information here that you need to save. So this is how you add observations by using the checklist. Again, you go to observations add observations by checklist and then you choose between fast track and detailed view. 
And fast track is especially interesting if you want to uh, sum up your old observations in a specific area. Thank you very much for listening.